Shalom, Most High in Christ Blessed. My name is Officer Yosef with Israel United in Christ, and we are out here to teach the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right, right. Give me uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17 real quick. Hey, brother on the bike, come talk to me real quick. You believe in the Bible, sir? Yes, sir. All praise to the Most High. We believe in the Bible as well. So I'm going to read something to you, sir, because do you believe we're living in the last days or the end of days? We are. All right, we are. All praise. I'm going to read some things to you and give you some signs to help you understand that not only are we in the last days, but these things are prophetic and we need to do something before these days come. Read what you got. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Read. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So the Bible is talking about the so-called Israelite man, the black, Hispanic, and Native American man. God has made you and I, sir, watchmen unto our people. These people on this side, who the Bible calls the 12 tribes of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are watchmen over the children of Israel. Reason why is because we don't have any people looking out for the, the state and the interests of our people. Or do we, sir? We do not. We have people like, uh, what's my man's name with the slick back? Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, uh, LeBron James. These are our leaders in our communities these days. But these people are not looking out for our best interests. So the Bible said, read it again. Son of man. Son of man, you are a son of man. I am a son of man. Read. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. What does a watchman do, sir? Take like, care of, watch it over. Watch protect, over. Protect. Exactly. He protects the people. He watches over the people to warn them of impending danger. So God has made you and I, sir, watchmen unto the twelve tribes of Israel. Read. Unto the house of Israel. Therefore, Hear the word at my mouth. Hear the word of the Lord at my mouth, which is the Bible. Read. And give them warning. And give them what? Warning from me. And give the people warning from me, meaning from God. Because there are things happening in the earth that our people need warning from. Our people are walking around in life, sleep. There are things happening in the earth today that are fulfilling Bible prophecy and our people are just going on about their natural lives with no idea that the earth is dying around them, that God is preparing himself for his legions of angels to come and visit the earth. Right. You understand, sir? All right, drop that. Give me uh, Isaiah 29 and 6. Watch this, sir. Matter of fact, give me, give me 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. Watch this, sir, because the Bible says he made us watchmen unto our people. So what are the things that we are supposed to be diligent and watching for? Read what you got. Second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 1. You listening, sister? Sister, you believe in the Bible? Matter of fact, what's your name, sir? And sis, sir? Bruce. Bruce and... Sharon. Sharon. Bruce and Sharon. So we just read in the Bible that God has made our sons and our sisters to a degree watchmen over our people and to give our people warning from 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 God that evil is, is visiting the earth you understand so we're going to read about some of these things we're supposed to be watching for and warning our people against because our people are asleep and going out matter of fact our people are about to celebrate a, a wicked holiday since known as Christmas that you got on your hair right See, now that that holiday is rooted in paganism and evil you understand that sis so watch this all praises to the father sis watch this read Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently. Measure the time diligently, meaning watch. Watch what's happening around you diligently. Measure the time. Read. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Uh -huh. And when thou seest part of the signs pass. And when you see parts of the signs pass, and we're going to get into what those signs are. Read. Which I have told thee before. Which God gave them warning of before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world and what when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made so when we see these signs and these wonders and things happening we can understand that god is visiting the earth right god is visiting the earth even right now god is visiting earth what just happened in kentucky them tornadoes that ravish the city and not just kentucky but various uh, states and neighborhoods Philadelphia, New York, we talking about hurricanes in play. You ever thought you would see a hurricane in Philadelphia and New York? But it happened. In 2021, it happened. You know why? Because God is visiting the earth to give his people warning from him that worse things are going to happen. Read, read verse two again. Verse two, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Read. Therefore, 
when there shall be seen earthquake. When you shall see earthquakes, there were over 50,000 earthquakes this year. And it's since 2011, that is the average earthquakes in the world. So, so if it's less than 50,000 earthquakes, that's a good year. 50,000 50, earthquakes happening worldwide every year since 2011. That's a problem. That is a sure sign that the world is, is ending, that it is dying amongst you, right? Because of our sins. Read. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes uh -huh. and uproars of people, and what? And uproars of the people. What happened January uh, 6th this year? Think about it. When, when uh, what's my man name? Joe Biden was inaugurated, or before he was inaugurated, what happened down in Washington, D.C.? They stormed the Capitol. Read that again. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, when you shall see earthquakes, and uproars of the people, and uproars of the people, people storming the Capitol building because they pissed off, they mad. Because when you see people over there in the Middle East jumping on airplanes, hanging onto the legs of them, just hoping to escape. When you see thousands of thousands of Haitians storming the Mexican borders, trying to get into a com uh, country. When you see presidents being assassinated in other countries and the people having civil unrest, you know that the, that the Lord God is visiting the earth. Read it again. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Hold tight, since we ain't done, read. And I would advise you not to go in there because the reason why these things are happening is because of what you were just about to go and do. You know you're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath because the Lord said so, sis. You understand? I'm going to show you something. Read. Then shalt thou well understand uh -huh. that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Right. So God already told us that these things were going to happen and the things that we need to, to do. Right? One thing is uh, not buying and selling. Give me that. Ezekiel, not Ezekiel, uh, Nehemiah, 1031. I'm going to show you something, sis, because God is visiting the earth for one reason and one reason only, and that is to redeem the children of Israel because we, we fell away from our God. Hold tight, brother. Hold tight, brother. You really don't have too much time to, to keep playing around. You understand? Right? We are being redeemed or set up to be redeemed by our God. One, because we sinned against him, but also because we need to be set back in order. We need to know straightly that we sin and we need to keep the commandments of God. One such commandment is not buying and selling on God's holy Sabbath day. Right. Read what you got. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. On what day? On the Sabbath day to sell. You got a phone, sis? The Sabbath day. You got a phone? Anybody got a phone? Moses, show her uh, your phone, right? So the Sabbath day is just the seventh day, right? You familiar with a calendar, right? So tell me on that calendar, what's the seventh day of the week? Sunset Friday, sunset, sir. Good, so you have some understanding, right, sir? So now, with that understanding, what should you be doing? Because you understand the Lord's Sabbath, right? Did you buy that today, sir? Buy what? That, that drink in your hand. No, I didn't. It was given to me. Okay, I understand. Was it given to you by someone who bought it on the Sabbath? Hey man, you gotta be diligent to, to make sure because you just as guilty, right? Read it again. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. Read. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. Who are the people of the land? Who owns this store? Who owns that store? Is it you or me? Well, what nation is he, sir? Is it you? You have What nation is he, ma'am? You don't know? Is it your people? More than likely not, right? That's the people of the land. If the people of the land bring wear, meaning goods and vittles on the Sabbath day, which is Saturday, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, right? To sell you, read. That we would not buy it of them. That we would? That we would not buy it of them read. on the Sabbath. We ain't supposed to buy it from them on the Sabbath day. Read. Or on the holy day. Or on any high holy day that God has ordained. You are not to buy and sell on this holy day. People aren't even supposed to be working on God's Sabbath. You are supposed to be resting and congregating and enjoying the fruits of the Lord on the seventh day. So why are people going and buying uh, and selling on God's holy Sabbath? And yet our people say we love and we serve God. But we disrespect God to his face. Go back to Ezekiel. What we're doing is we're giving you warning, brother and sister, from God. That if you don't stop doing these things, when God visits us and, and uh, with much destruction, we will perish with the world. You understand? 
We don't want, do you want to perish with the world? Do you want to die with this world, sir? Exactly, so you have to do something. Read it to uh, Ezekiel, verse 17. Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17, sis. Come stand over here, sis. Come stand over here, sis. Because you just bought and sold on a Sabbath basis. And if you don't stop doing that and repent, you're going to perish with the world, sister. You understand? Right. Read. Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Read. Son of man. Son of man. You are a son of man. As am I and these brothers out here. As is Christ our leader. Is the son of man. So this is to you and every Israelite man like you. Read. I have made thee a watchman. What did God make you? A watchman. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Spring. I'm sorry? Supreme. Spring? Supreme. 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 Okay, brother Supreme, right? So God has made you supreme a what? A watchman uh -huh. unto the house of Israel. Unto your people. These people that you live amongst. You don't do you live amongst any other race of people? But you don't? God has made you a watchman to these people. What does a watchman do, Supreme? Watchman looks over, watches over. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.